Hello again. Well, another vacuum cleaner for you, and as you can see from the title, it's a Hoover commercial model C1300. I don't know if this is unused. The picture on eBay was pretty bad. It was um, pictured in bits as well, as it would be before assembly. I'm not sure if this is going to be upside down, because there was an address label on either side. So yeah, I got this from eBay and it was, I woke up very early one morning and just went on eBay and just put, just searched in vacuum cleaners and obviously when you just put vacuum cleaner in, even if you specify your country, you get thousands upon thousands of results unless you narrow it down. But I decided not to narrow it down because you never know what random vacuum might pop up. and. This random vacuum popped up. I never would have found it. I wouldn't have bothered searching for it. It popped up. I thought, well, I fancy that. And I was lucky enough to win it. It wasn't cheap. There was obviously some other people after it. I think I paid about £111 for it, plus postage. Initially, it was pickup only. But the poster did, the seller did say that they would post it, but it's heavy. So I took it, when I read that I thought, right, well they obviously will post it. It's got the original box. This is a, so it's a Hoover commercial, but it's basically, the domestic version of this would have been a Hoover Power Plus. Or previous to that, it would have been called the Hoover Senior. And I used one of these, I used my own one, I had one maybe a later version than this I used when I was a cleaner briefly because they only used a, a pneumatic Henry and there was a lot of carpet to clean I bought in my own stuff so I used one of these in the shop which was much easier and quicker and that's a little box is very you know very uh, marked no, well, it's upside down in the box, so... So it's not, it's not new and unused, but looking at it, it's not had much use. And I have a feeling it's a shake-out cloth bag, which I don't like. I'm going to have to see if I can convert this um, to, to take bags. So it's a Hoover Commercial. Let's see. The th reason I'm thinking it's a shakeout bag is the metal clip on the top. Attaching the bag assembly, carrying the cleaner. Yeah, it's a it's an awful shakeout bag. So I'll go online and have a look at what I can do to convert this. I don't think it should be that difficult. To convert this uh, to take the bags so I don't really want to use it bag well it's not bagless but you know what I mean all right so you've got the instructions there's a guarantee card as well so here is the bag and yeah it's still got the hoover I'm not going to wash this but I might I might put duo SIBO duo P on it just to freshen it and vacuum it. Um, there we go. Because, oh yes, it's got, it needs vacuuming out. It's been used, but I suspect possibly the dirt that's in here is the only dirt that it's seen. Oh, it's a bit. <laughs> you see, as I've always said, I'm, I'm, well, so far, it looked like it might be new. It said, it, well, it didn't say it was brand new. But I've always said, beware of eBay listings where you've got a very blurry photograph. What are they trying to hide? Either they've got very shaky hands, but it is, if they're trying to deceive on purpose, it's rather silly, because they're just gonna get left with negative feedback. So it's grubby. Check the cable, oh, the cable. Mm. The cable has got some, I don't know if that's been a repair. 
There seems to be some sort of damage. Now I can easily buy a cable. The cable all around it looks sort of got like melted bits on it. Mm. Right, so far though, after a bit of a, a wipe and a polish, it's pretty good. It ha as I say, it's been used, but not, not a lot, not as you'd expect a commercial vacuum to be used. You've got one handle, lower part. This is the upper handle. Uh, hmm, I think we might be missing some screws here. Now this one, unlike the one I used to own, just has one big hook at the back so you just loop the cable and just put it on that. No lower hook. You've got the old bulldog. This one's made in Britain. And I had a feeling, I had a sneaky feeling that there might be a screw. A screw loose. Yes, I know I have. No, there might be a screw missing. Now the bottom one is there. the lower part of the handle that's been put there so that's okay it is all right let's have a look because this yeah it's missing I do have I do have one somewhere but if not I hopefully will be able to get one I, th I don't think there should be a screw that goes through that cord support let's check the box again That's missing. I'll see. I mean, being a commercial cleaner, I, I might be able to get that part. But when I source it, I'm going to ask the seller to send me a partial refund. Right, there's some a few marks on it, but yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So, as you can see, it's basically what Hoover called the senior, but this would have been obviously, it's more or less the same apart from the handle being different and being a cloth shakeout bag this is basically I expect under the hood the same as the domestic senior now the brushes let me just lower the handle now, as you can see there's dust but considering this is a commercial vacuum that has survived pretty well We'll have a look at the rating plate. So Hoover model C1300, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 400 watts. So the serial is C1300 7085082. Trademarks of Hoover PLC made by Hoover PLC Great Britain. Important, remove plug from power before removing the cleaner hood, securing screws or the nozzle plate. Being a commercial version, Hoover have made it easy to access the belt. Unlike the domestic one, they, they did away with this quick release and there would have been a screw in here. So, but with this one in a commercial environment, the belt probably didn't last as long and needed replacing. So you just have to move that back, just like the earlier seniors had that sort of design. And then of course new regulations came in and you had to have a screw before you could access underneath here. That sounds wrong. <laughs> You know what I mean. You had to have a screw fitted and you had to have it, you had to release it with a screwdriver. So, the base plate, a little bit of muck on it. Bit of a wash, bit of a polish and that'll be as good as new. Light use, this has definitely only had light use. The belt will need replacing. I've just had two belts delivered from Amazon. Two genuine belts. So yeah, that's obviously obviously needs replacing on this one yeah I'll be able to um, expect I can break that oh, oh no I can't oh wow it's holding but anyway it's uh, it's worn down you can see they're very thin there it will eventually go wow is that oh no I was gonna say I thought it's got a metal fan but no it's plastic black plastic fan some of the rubber from the belts gone there but that that'll wipe off it'll clean off yeah, the wheels, you can tell, if you want to see 
how much use a vacuum's had. You can look at the wheels, that's often a telltale giveaway if they look very scratched and worn, if they wobble. Yeah, this hasn't seen a lot, lot of use. So, all in all, apart from the missing screw, which hopefully I'll be able to source, I don't know if there'll be a part um, list in this one. I'll search it anyway. Um, let's see if we can see. Oh, what's this? Optional extra groomer brush roller assembly. Oh, yeah, so this is obviously, this is the agitator. Again, yeah, it's a little bit pitted there. This would have been the original colour. The brush is, we've got a bit of hair around it, yuck. But, yeah. A clean up, get rid of all that rubber that's caught on there. That might be tricky to get rid of, I'm not sure what I'll use for that. But it's got the beats as it sweeps action, but you could get an optional four brush agitator according to this instructions, instruction book. Yeah, it's missing the cord protector clamp bolt. Now I do have one but it's, it might not be for this, well, it, it might be for a junior, but it might fit. But I'll go on the interweb and see. I'm sure I'll be able to get something. So, yeah. So not, not you know, bright, shiny, new, but, you know, it's not bad. Yeah, it's always, always wonder why we get... Uh, things on eBay. I'm going to put a new belt on before. I'm just going to nip and get my new belts because I'm going to quickly turn it on and have a quick go of it, check the motor's okay. Uh, I will be doing full demo of this, assuming it works. Um, I'll just go and get one of the new belts because uh, I don't want to... it's not going to agitate very well with that uh, worn stretched belt. Here's the packet of belts that arrived today, fortunately, uh, just after the cleaner, in fact. When I'd won this, I knew that it would need new belts, so I had the foresight to order some. Because um, I don't think I've got any senior belts. And these are genuine Hoover ones. don't know if they're sort of old Hoover or made. They've got a candy number on them. So um, you can see that the new belt considerably thicker than the one it's replacing. Alright, let's pop that on. The uh, agitator only goes one way. You can see it's got a round end, that end, and it's got a little oblong end, which corresponds with that side. There you go, it's got the oblong, and the other side will be the sort of semi-circular, so that has to go on. So you can only put it in one way. Let me just move the belt back. Turn that in, pop it in, and then there is a little diagram just printed on the underside there that shows you the position of the belt. So we need to stretch it over the pulley and make sure that we get it round the right way. Right, it's that way. It will be a stretch as well. There we are. Right, so obviously this is what they call a dirty fan cleaner because all the dirt that this Hoover Senior will pick up passes through the fan. So it's like a Kirby in that respect, so you have a more direct air path. Um, they tend to have greater suction at the head than uh, some clean air fan machines, but of course because everything touches and hits the fan especially a plastic fan, you've got to be careful what you pick up. But this is quite a, a tough plastic fan, I would say. As I say, I'm not sure if they made it any different to the domestic one, really. So the nozzle plate goes on, locating it at the front first. There's two little lips here. That's it. So, as I said, with the domestic one, you'd put the screw would go in there, but being the commercial version, all we have to do is close these catches. Right, okay, I'm going to switch her on before I uh, test her out a bit. I'll just show you first. This has got two position, well, it's got a three position handle, but it's got the dual purpose 
switch that was introduced on the uh, Hoover Junior U1036. So it was, you pressed it once to lower the handle to the operating position. It will lock in the operating position. You had to press it again to lower it. But then you'd press it down once more like that and that would switch the cleaner on. And then the other side you've got the height control here. There we go. So when the knob is at the top there, the lever's at the top, it's for lowest pile carpet. And then you can have it for medium, longer pile or deep pile carpet. But if this is used in a commercial environment, most carpets in a commercial situation are a short pile. So you'd probably have it on the lowest setting or normally I'd probably use it on this setting. I'll probably use it on that setting for my carpets. But just while I switch it on, I'm just going to have it on the highest setting so it's not brushing on the carpet. And let's hope it works. And if it does, well, I'll be pretty happy with this. OK, let's plug her in. The plug looks OK. I'll just quickly check the cable. There's no, there's no live wires sticking out. Uh, there's some tape on this cable. I don't think it's taping anything up. I might, I'm a bit dubious about the cable, I might replace that. But it's a pretty bog standard cable with a bog standard plug. It's not going to affect the resale value should I ever sell it, which I can't see myself selling. I've wanted one like this for a long time. Right, here goes. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> you see it? <laughs> now that's somewhere, it's obviously got a lot of airflow, there's no bag on, but um, it lifted up the carpet. Let's do that again. can't really beat this type of vacuum for carpet cleaning. This, hopefully if I can source, um, be able to fit. I don't know if I'll be able to fit. I'm not sure what I can do with this because it's quite a different style of bag. But anyway, I'll figure out something. I would. This would have been better if it was the bagged version. Much better. I'll put the bag on that fits on the back here. There's the uh, connection, so it's basically located at the bottom. And there's a little slider. So that's on. So now the bag should inflate. Right, and I'm, phew, oh, it's got that. Well, I don't mind that smell. It's got that old musty smell. It's a funny shaped bag when it's inflated, actually. So, we're okay with the lower handle. I really need a coin, actually. Um, I'll just get a screwdriver. I'll just undo that screw there. I'm sure, as I say, I'm sure I have got a Hoover nut and bolt. It's whether it's the, um, it will fit this. There's nothing in there, is there? Just thinking now, which way does it go in? I think it's that, yes, it's that way, that, yeah. The big hole, the big hole at the bottom and to the front. Ah, oh, I'll take the back off first. Is that gonna come off? Oh, it doesn't want to, does it? That's got to come off, I'm sure. Well, the front has to push out because I won't be able to get that on. Let's see, just don't want to uh, ruin everything by forcing it. Yes, that should, in fact, it's showing, it's showing that bit actually attached to the lower handle. Probably was separate. Don't, it seems to be jammed in. Right then, I got it in eventually. It wasn't uh, 
easy, it's not quite in right, but it'll do for the purpose of the quick demo. Um, so I can't really connect without the correct nut and bolt. The cord protector clamp bolt, I can't really um, connect it properly, but it should fit on. It should fit on that way, you can just about see it, and then the, the handle. It's nice chrome. The handle will go in and then it's just the, the screw and bolt through there to secure it. So I uh, can't really uh, do much of a demo, I'll just have to show you it. I'll just have to push it along by the lower handle just for the purpose of this and then by the time you see it again it'll be nicely polished up and um, hopefully I'll have sourced the, uh, oh, is this, I was going to say, there's, oh no there's nothing else missing, it's just, it's going to be tricky because the uh, hook that secures the spring, the spring at the top of the bag, the hook for that is of course just under here so that really should hook on. It should hook on like that. I'll see. I mean, it's probably going to come come apart. I'm going to give it a quick go. If I'm careful, I might might just get away with it. Okay, I'll try and uh, give it a brief demo while holding on to the um, handle. Let's pop it in that position. Yeah, I'll just have to I'll just hold it lower down. quiet isn't it really well it's hard to tell when you're watching a video yeah it oh it's a beast it brings that carpet up this is a beast but it's not scary like the Nilco it's with its earth tones it's quite a homely friendly type of vacuum we'll have a look at the underside with the brush spinning and then I'll put down some pretend grit we'll just give it a quick go see what the agitation's like see if it really does beat as it sweeps as it cleans. Okay, let's switch her on. Have a look at that uh, agitator. <laughs> Certainly nothing wrong with the bearings on the agitator or the motor, is there? We'll have a look at it. Shall we have a look at it with the, uh, the uh, base plate off? Why not? I don't recommend this at home, kids. Don't do it at home. You shouldn't. It's very dangerous. Well, here's some uh, coloured grit. This is meant for decorative purposes, but uh, it's good for showing the agitation. You can get this in all sorts of colours. I'm going to get some more of it. It shows up quite well being red on this beige carpet. Let's have a look, shall we? See if it's got the old famous Hoover beating action. I'm going to leave it on the setting just above lowest pile. Right, let's have a go. quite as bouncy bouncy as I was hoping for. I'll put a little bit more down and uh, maybe have it slightly higher. What it needs to do for the best agitation, it needs to lift the pile up 
Somebody commented on a video, an American viewer said, our carpet's not stuck down in the UK. Well, not really, no, not domestic carpets. Maybe some commercial carpets are, but generally domestic carpets in the UK are f stuck down or fitted around the edge of the room using gripper rods. And they are designed, this is how the old-fashioned hoovers worked best. They lifted up the carpet on a cushion of air and the beater bars used to tap, tap, tap at the carpet to beat out the grit. And of course the brushes used to sweep the hairs and other debris into the suction stream. Put down some more. Dee -dee -dee. Quite expensive to be uh, using it for this, but anyway, I haven't used a lot, so I've got quite a big jar of it. Right, let's try again. There you go, that's the unboxing and first look and very brief demo of my new Hoover Commercial Senior Cleaner Model C1300. A little bit of a polish, a little bit of a wipe, find a new nut and bolt, vacuum out the cloth bag and she'll be as good as new. So yeah, pretty pleased with that one. Another classic Hoover to add to the collection. If you've got any comments or questions about this particular vacuum please ask in the comments section below. Please thumb up this video and of course subscribe if you don't already do so and if you do subscribe please click on the bell icon to get instant email notifications of when I upload a video or when I do a live stream. So until the next time thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.